Moving on, the World Bank chief sees South Korea as a contributing country that can greatly support developing countries in terms of digitization. These remarks came during his trip to Seoul, marking the first time in over five years that a World Bank president has visited the country. Our economic correspondent Shin ha reports. A very strong economy. That's how President Ajay Bang of the World Bank sees South Korea as a contributor to emerging economies, he said during a press conference in Seoul on Thursday. He added the Korean companies have deep expertise in various sectors from shipbuilding to chips and automobiles. Korea has gone from, you know, in 50 to 60 years, from a situation where it was devastated and had to come out from deep poverty, many challenges, foreign exchange issues, and come from that to a country that is in the top few in the world and now is a, is a bastion of knowledge and capability for development in the rest of the world. South Korea is supporting developing countries in their digital transformation by teaming up with the World Bank to share the country's digital policies and innovations, including AI, cybersecurity, and its digital platform government. On Thursday, while observing a simulation of South Korea's digital twin technology, a virtual geospatial model of the real world used for urban planning and management, President Banga suggested that it could be a valuable tool for reconstruction in Ukraine and Palestine, which is expected to take place in the near future. He added that technologies including AI are South Korea's strengths as a contributor. Third, it has AI and the sensor technology. He was just looking at examples of that because that's basically sensor technology and geospatial mapping combined with AI that is producing what you just saw on the screen a little while ago. It has that ability. When you put all that together, it's very useful for what the world needs. He added that it is highly beneficial for developing countries because advances in fields such as agriculture can be made through AI and advanced technologies. Meanwhile, regarding the country's low birth rate issue, President Panga pointed out the gender pay gap as one of the reasons. We need growing populations, as you know well, in Korea, to be able to keep and sustain the future. And if you don't ensure that women are compensated adequately for the burden they bear for enabling that population to grow, it leads to complexity. Earlier in the day, President Banga met with Finance Minister Choi Sang-mok following a meeting with President Yoon song yeol the previous day to expand the partnership between the World Bank and South Korea and foster it for the next few years. Shin Ha-yong. Arirang News.